I'm Malayne Hillam. Today I'm tackling a Kintsugi-inspired repair on a broken cake stand. Kintsugi is the Japanese method for repairing broken ceramics. Traditionally it uses resin lacquer and gold powder to beautify the joints and make the piece useful again. But today I'll be using epoxy resin clay to make my joints really, really strong. Let's get started. Before I even start, I'm placing all the pieces together to see how they fit and whether or not any pieces are missing. Luckily I have all the pieces, even this tiny little piece that goes in the centre. For this repair, I'm using Easy Sculpt, Aztec Gold Perlex, soft paint brushes, basic sculpting tools and gloves. I should add to that talc powder to dust my gloves down from time to time so the Easy Sculpt doesn't stick to them. I've measured out a small amount of part A and part B in equal quantities. I just eyeball this. They need to be mixed together thoroughly by folding them over each other until they're completely blended. At this point, the epoxy clay is too soft and sticky to work with, so I set the timer for 20 minutes so it can firm up a little. Because I'm working on one section at a time, I'm only using a small piece of clay. Once I've flattened and lengthened the Easy Sculpt to about the length of the broken piece of marble, I place it on one edge and work it onto the surface. I keep dusting my fingers with powder to stop the clay from sticking to me being careful not to over powder or the clay won't stick to the marble. The clay needs to be pressed onto the surface and smoothed out to an even thickness all the way along. Now it's time to join the two pieces together. I'm aligning them as perfectly as I can. To make the join as thin as possible, I'm pushing the two pieces together sideways, which helps squeeze out the excess clay. I'm doing this on both the front and the back to make sure that the two pieces are properly aligned. I'm removing the excess clay from the seam as well to create a channel that I'll fill later. I'll leave the Easy Sculpt to cure overnight so that the repair is really strong. It's day two and I've mixed up another small batch of Easy Sculpt to fill the gap. I'm working it right down into the channel so that it sticks to the dry clay. Once I've put down enough clay, I spread it out evenly along the join. The excess is easily scraped away whilst it's still soft. I did this on both the front and the back of the marble. And the final step is to lightly brush a layer of gold powder on the fresh clay to mimic the look of a Kintsugi repair. I'm trying to keep the powder on the clay as much as possible so I don't have too much cleanup to do once the clay dries. I joined the remaining pieces together in the same way. These needed a little manipulating to get them to fit. And then finally, I finished by dusting with the Perlex. Once everything dried, I ran a cotton bud dipped in methylated spirits along the edges to clean them up, always making sure that I was wiping with a clean section of the swab. I found the last piece didn't line up perfectly, but by the time the cake stand is all put back together, the repair looks really good. One thing to keep in mind is that whilst this is a really sturdy repair, food should not come into direct contact with epoxy clay. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.